In the high-stakes world of action-packed cinema, Burt Reynolds' quick thinking and bravery during the filming of White Lightning led to a daring rescue. When a stunt spiraled out of control, Reynolds' swift intervention saved a fellow stuntman from imminent danger, showcasing the real-life heroism that sometimes unfolds behind the scenes of Hollywood's most thrilling sequences. In the 1973 film White Lightning, Burt Reynolds portrays Gator McCluskey, a man on a mission to avenge his brother's murder. Set against the backdrop of a small, corrupt southern town, Gator finds himself navigating a dangerous web of deceit and betrayal. As he delves deeper into the town's dark underbelly, he encounters local law enforcement and political figures who are all implicated in his brother's death. With a steely resolve and a fast car, Gator races against time and enemies determined to bring those responsible to justice. The film captures the essence of the southern United States in the 1970s, complete with car chases, moonshine runners, and a gritty representation of the fight against corruption. In the 1973 film White Lightning, Gator McCluskey emerges as a central figure who confronts and challenges corrupt authorities. Burt Reynolds delivers a compelling performance, embodying the character with a sense of justice and determination. The narrative follows Gator, who is initially motivated by personal revenge, but grows to represent a larger fight against systemic corruption. His journey from a convict to a man on a mission underscores the character's development and the actor's skill in bringing such a transformation to life. The portrayal is grounded, allowing the audience to connect with Gator's cause and root for his success against the odds. The film positions Gator McCluskey not just as a man seeking retribution, but as a symbol of resistance against those who misuse their power. In the 1973 film White Lightning, the character Sheriff J.C. Connors, portrayed by actor Ned Beatty, draws inspiration from the actual Arkansas Sheriff Marlon Hawkins. The film, set in the southern United States during the 1970s, reflects the era's social and political climate through its depiction of law enforcement and the illegal activities they combat. The character of Sheriff Connors is central to the narrative, embodying the law's pursuit of justice in a community rife with corruption and illicit moonshine production. The portrayal is grounded in the historical context of the time, providing a cinematic representation of the challenges faced by law enforcement in maintaining order and upholding the law. The film's depiction of Connors is a nod to the real-life figure of Hawkins, whose tenure as sheriff was marked by similar struggles against criminal elements in his jurisdiction. The 1973 film White Lightning was produced by Levy Gardner and Levini, a production company known for its commitment to delivering engaging cinematic experiences. Directed by the skilled Joseph Sargent, the movie featured a compelling performance by Ned Beatty, who was already establishing himself as a distinguished actor in the industry. The production, which commenced in 1971, was marked by a dedication to authenticity and a drive to push the boundaries of the action genre. The film's narrative, set in the southern United States, explored themes of revenge and justice resonating with audiences and critics alike. Ned Beatty's portrayal of a key character brought depth and gravitas to the story, further solidifying his status as a talented performer capable of elevating a film's overall impact. In 1972, Burt Reynolds was confirmed to star in the film White Lightning, which was initially a project under consideration by Steven Spielberg. The production was set in Benton, Arkansas, where the filming took place. This action-packed movie became one of the notable works in Reynolds' career, showcasing his ability to lead a dynamic cast and crew. The choice of Benton as the filming location provided an authentic backdrop that complemented the film's narrative, capturing the essence of the southern United States during that era. The collaboration between Reynolds and the production team resulted in a film that resonated with audiences combining drama, action, and the charisma of its leading man to great effect. In the 1973 film White Lightning, the stunt work is a significant aspect that adds to the film's thrilling narrative. Hal Needham, a respected stunt coordinator and performer, was responsible for the execution of the film's high-octane stunts. Among these was an intense car chase sequence that did not go as planned. During this scene, a mishap occurred, putting Needham in danger. Burt Reynolds, who was not only the star of the film, but also a skilled performer in his own right, quickly intervened. Displaying quick thinking and a commitment to his colleague's safety, Reynolds took action to rescue Needham from what could have been a fatal accident. This incident highlights the risks involved in creating realistic 
and exciting action sequences for cinema and the unscripted moments of heroism that can arise. The collaboration between Reynolds and Needham in this situation exemplifies the trust and professionalism that are crucial in the world of stunt work, ensuring that even the most dangerous scenes are performed with safety as a priority. The 1973 film White Lightning received mixed critical reception upon its release. Some reviewers were impressed by Burt Reynolds' portrayal of the main character, Gator McCluskey, noting his ability to carry the film with his charismatic screen presence. His performance was seen as a highlight and a strong point of the movie. On the other hand, certain critics were not as enthusiastic about the film's action sequences. The car chases, which are a significant aspect of the movie's narrative, were critiqued for their execution. While some found them to be thrilling and well shot, others felt that they fell short of the excitement and intensity expected from such scenes. This division in opinion among critics created a varied landscape of reviews, reflecting a range of perspectives on the film's merits and shortcomings. In the 1973 film White Lightning, Laura Dern appeared on screen for the first time in a role that was not credited. Her participation marked the beginning of her career in the film industry. Additionally, an error occurred in the end credits concerning Diane Ladd's surname, which was incorrectly spelled. These details contribute to the unique aspects of the film's production and release history. White Lightning is often remembered for its action sequences and the performance of Burt Reynolds, but these lesser known facts offer a glimpse into the intricacies of filmmaking and the start of a now prominent actress's career. 